Tiffany TV, the only place to be. Welcome to my channel, welcome back to another video. I'm not gonna give you a boring intro as to where I've been and what I've been doing and whether I just abandoned my channel altogether. We're just gonna get into the fun, right? I've got some bubbly here. We're gonna chill out and we're gonna properly have a good chat. Cheers. Should I wait for you to get your cup? I'll wait for you to get your cup of. You don't have to be alcohol, you can get a cup of tea, a cup of hot chocolate, you know, a bit of rose, a bit of vodka. Get yourself a cup of oil and cheers. If you didn't know from the title already, today we're here to talk about fragrances. <laughs> A little bit of background as to why I'm even creating this type of content. So lately I've been thinking, do you know what? Tea, your perfume game is looking a bit average, it's looking a bit basic, it's looking a bit I need everything to reflect my mood, my spirit, my vibe, my energy, my character, right? So I said to myself, do you know what? I need to invest or look into some new fragrances. Previously, I was using a lot of Giorgio Armani C, just the normal original. And before that, it was Lancome, Le Vie Belle, Le Vie Belle, however you say it. So sorry if I'm butchering the French. Those are the type of scents I was using a lot of the time, designer, designer, designer scents. And I feel like I'm maturing as a young lady, you know? I feel like it's important to up my game in that way because I'm Tiffany. So I started looking into fragrances and doing a bit of research, a little bit of reading, looking at some videos on YouTube from the beautiful and supportive people in the fragrance community. I discovered that, yeah, I'm really, really in, into niche. And for me, I like exclusivity. I would, I, I prefer to pay for something to be more exclusive and something to be less attainable. I just like that air of class and upper echelon kind of luxury. I don't know why I'm extra like this, but I was just like, you know, I don't want designer perfumes. Private line is different. You know the, the generic sense that everybody tends to wear? I'm trying to move out of that. But today, as you can see by the title, we are discussing Kiali Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper 25. So it was released this year, so it is a new addition to their collection. However, there is a release after this one, Utopia Coco Vanilla. Vanilla Coco? Coco Vanilla. Utopia Coco Vanilla. But I wanted to get this one first. Just because I have my eye on another vanilla scent by Monsetta. Again, Kiali. I have had my eye on this brand for a while now. I've been wanting to try their stuff. But I just, I, 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 this is the first purchase, yeah? This is my first purchase of the brand. This one really intrigued me. The story behind it, notes, the packaging, and the fact that she said it's part of her new Eau de Performantante, which is meant to be like an extra juice. Technically, it isn't a first impression. However, I haven't sprayed it today or yesterday, I don't think. The packaging is stunning. Look at that. It's a hot pink kind of metallic around the edges. I am a sucker for packaging. I'm very girly, very flirty, very cute. You know, so I'm all here for the packaging. So you have it like this, and then you pop it up like that, and then the juice sits in its bottle like that, and that is what she looks like. This is the 50 ml. Didn't want to get 100 ml just in case it was a waste of money, and I didn't really feel it like that, but I didn't want to get a 10 ml because <laughs> not basic bitch and i'm joking but it's cute and it's perfect it's a gold cap with a it's not glass it's kind of plastic crystal lid like that it inspired this makeup look if you can see gold and pink this is definitely a bit of me love the packaging packaging gets 10 out of 10. So they understand what a woman wants to see when she unpackages something, the experience you get when you get a new product. It's £79 for a 50ml, okay? I think the 100ml is £98. If you're from the UK, you can get your hands on this on ASOS.com. Boots, 
Huda Beauty, Cult Beauty, and I believe Amazon. So we know the price, we know how to access it, what's the notes. But I feel like a real like fragrance reviewer, influencer, slash money maker, you know, talking about notes and stuff. <laughs> I love it. But anyways, the notes, honey. In fact, before I go into the notes, let me read you because I'm on a website called fragrantica.com. So Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper 25 is an electric floral woody creation. With its luxurious modern metallic finish, the unique bottle epitomizes the vibrant and flirtatious juice inside. The scent of the Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper 25 combines the spiciness of pink pepper and saffron with sweet Bulgarian rose and royal lily florals for a perfect balance. Deepened with sandalwood and gold golden amber and intriguingly heightened with sparkling bergamot, this scent is perfect for those who expect a little more from the unexpected. The number 25 indicates 25 rounds of formula modifications that went into creating the perfect balance of flirtatious and sweet. Personally, I think that is pretty accurate from what I remember. The top notes are pink pepper, bergamot, raw lily and saffron, heart notes, Bulgarian rose, rose centifolia, magnolia and vanilla accord. And then in the bottom, has sandalwood, patchouli, sensual musk and golden amber. And again, the fragrance is available in a 10 ml, a 50 ml and a 100 ml Eau de Parfum. Let's smell and spray her, of course, it sprays. Listen, oh. it opens up very sweet, but also very spicy. And that is obviously owing to the pink pepper. So pink pepper being the most prominent note, ingredient in this perfume rings true. Mm. It's very alluring, it is. It's very alluring, it's very flirty, it's very cute. It's very airy and light. This is good for summer. And then it starts to give you some florals, rose and a lily. And then in the dry down, it starts to sweeten up. It's the prominent vanilla ingredient throughout. I love vanilla. Vanilla is an aphrodisiac. It makes you feel good. It makes other people around you feel good. It's, it's alluring. So the sweetness in the vanilla that you get in the dry down for this and the amber with sandalwood. Sandalwood is one of my favorite ingredients as well. It's very girly, very low, and very flirtatious. Unique in that combination of pink pepper, vanilla, musk, sandalwood, rose, and all of that kind of thing. Like it's complex, sublime, airy mixture of very elite products. So you get that throughout, it's sweet, but it's spicy, it's sensual, but it's feisty. It's one of those scents that you don't expect it to develop that way. And even having it in the air is very, um, relaxing it's kind of relaxed me it brought me down a bit into my chill zone i know that i'm gonna run through this 50 mil i'm gonna run through this 50 mil pretty quickly the amber and the, the sandalwood and musk in the dry down is very signature-esque of the early fragrances my nose has matured and i know what i'm talking about like, i'm an oriental girl right I love oriental fragrances, oriental woody specifically, I love it, okay? So I just know from a scent profile what I'm going to like, the kind of vibe of the perfume is going to be. Let's spray it on the poise point. So I, this is how I spray it. I do the wrist, tap, behind the ear, behind the neck, and in the clothes. Sorry. I. <laughs> I'm an oversprayer. But with this one, it is designed to layer. All of their products, the perfumes that they create are designed to be layered. So maybe that's an explanation, but for me, I just feel like a bit underwhelmed, not because of the scent. It's beautiful, it's unique to my connection to, to, to things that I smell. However, this does not perform how I expected it to perform. You've seen how many times that I sprayed it, I've been excessive because I feel like you really have to be excessive to get this, this, the, the true essence of this juice. This will layer beautifully with other 
vanilla scents. One Sarah's Roses Vanille, which is a rose vanilla scent. What is this in the tin? Beautiful. I'm gonna lay it with this just to give it a bit more beast mode, to give it a bit more oomph. And it works really well. Roses Vanille first, top it off with this, and you can drench with this. And then you just get more longevity, more projection. The projection on this, unfortunately, isn't great. I think this projected for like an hour, an hour guys. She did say it was all the buff arm intense. So I expected it to be beast mode. I expected it to be, and, and, it's, and it's a Middle Eastern brand for God's sake. Then did it disappoint, but it's just not beast mode. This can't be a signature scent for me, but it's perfect for like at home shopping stuff like that you need some light work so going shopping meeting up with friends for lunch or brunch dinner perfect for evenings with bae because it sits very close to the skin but for some reason it just doesn't project i'm a very colorful bubbly confident kind of character i like my fragrance to reflect that so when i walk in a room they be like, who's that girl? No, she's that girl. This is great for layering and it's great for a night in with Bay. So, you know, you come out the shower, you freshen up, you spray this around your neck, pull it up into your hair. Pro tip, ladies. These perfumes that are gourmand and sweet and spicy and sensual and alluring and make you smell like an actual snack you're gonna smell delicious but you're not gonna taste delicious if you have perfume all over your like boob 18 18 plus you don't want to spray a lot of perfume onto the skin it's got alcohol and it doesn't taste nice okay it's just not gonna project and give you you know that profile that I was particularly looking for in my fragrances I mean not all fragrances need to be beast mode so they say personally the way I want my perfumes to hit, it's just not hitting, but I do like it and I'm going to use it as a topper for my Roses Vinny from Monsera. Like I said, you get the projection for about an hour, some people saying four hours, there's no way that I was still, it was still projecting after four hours, it just wasn't. I don't know, that just, she ne sait quoi, you know? Right now, I'm ranking her, I'm ranking her a strong seven and a half. And that's a strong seven and a half, but I feel like I'm spoiled now because I've just had my nose on so many elite, beautifully, delectably blended fragrances. This is a kitten to me now. This feels like a kitten. She's her own person. She doesn't say too much. She comes in the room. She greets everyone. She looks cute, but she doesn't look she's not offending anybody she's polite she's just not rude and i like to be a bit rude and disrespectful of my fragrance the silage is weak trail is weak projection is weak yeah maybe that's the point you know when you're layering you don't want them all to be beast mode because they can't all be beast mode i hope that's fair enough guys the only thing that is lacking for me is just a bit more niche level exclusive line injection and silage it's not a beast mode um, fragrance you're not gonna get the performance of like a montel or monsara or bond number no. nine or a pen halligan's scent to be fair not all pen halligan's scents are beast mode that is not to say that you shouldn't buy it i feel like this is a safe blind buy for any girly girl any girly girl who likes sweets just sweet and spicy and it will look nice on your dresser men i feel like will love it on you i feel like this is your partner or your your boo thing because they're going to be the ones that are close to really appreciate the scent when i've worn some of my other niche purchases i've definitely instantly got a response from people around me and my mum, she literally stopped me she's like what's that and i was like what's what and she was like me you're talking about me you want to smell me you want to know what it is you can't know honey no, i'm joking i told her instantly imagine it's a strong slush the trail would be alluring that would be dope right so, yeah, that was my thoughts on the kiali sweet diamond pink pepper 25 let me know in the comments what you think have you bought it what are your views on kiali 
fragrances are you thinking of buying any do you agree with me do you not how do you like to wear your perfumes do you like to wear it close to the skin do you like good projection do you like beast mode like me what do you love follow me on my socials twitter and instagram at tsvxo everything will be linked down below subscribe if you love it comment if you love it let me know what fragrances you have your eye on i will see you in the next video bye see you later adios au revoir